I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 272, where I'm going to show you how to copy one item's values to another by using a script. I'm going to quiet. I'm going to quote the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Salisbury, when it comes to scripting. He says that scripting in Quantrix is really good for basic tasks, and I completely agree with that. I'm not a script master, but I just wanted to show you a little snippet of scripting that I've come across that I needed to employ today. And that was, I wanted to copy these forecast values in matrix 1 from this item, and I wanted to copy it over into archive 1. And I want to copy just the values so that they will stay. So how do you do this in Quantrix with scripting? You go ahead and you go to scripting, script manager. It goes ahead and opens up the script manager here. You can click an A with the little plus sign on it, and it goes ahead and gives you an action. I have an action here. I'm calling it action 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to take matrix 1. And in order to uh, reference a matrix in Quantrix, you go ahead and you type in the pipe character or the bar vertical. And then you start to type the name of it. And you can see that it has this autocomplete here. And you separate it just like you would with normal syntax. And I'm going to say matrix 1 forecast. And then I'm going to close pipe that. And I want to select the cells only, and I want to copy those cells like this. And then the destination where I want to paste the cells is going to be in matrix 1 again, and it is going to be in archive. And I'm going to close pipe that, and I'm going to go cells only, and I am going to select paste. And then in order to run this action, I could assign a hotkey to it over here, but I'm simply going to select Action 2 and then click the green button here. And when I do that, you can see that it copies and pastes the items from Forecast and Archive. And I can know that that's working because if I go ahead and I hit Shift F9 to recalculate, you can see that my forecast values are actually changing because I have this RAND between going on but my archive values are not changing because they've been copied and pasted. If I would like to copy and paste them again, again, I would go here to Actions, I would paste it, or I'd play it, and then you can see that my values actually do match because I did copy them and I did paste them. So go ahead and do that using kind of this cellsonly.copy and the cellsonly.paste syntax within Quantrix Modeler Scripting. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. Today I was using it. I did something amazing at my day job with it. You know, just kind of revolutionary stuff. And I said to my colleague, I said that this tool is what keeps me coming to work every day. It's using Quantrix. I love it. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.